Yo, what's going on guys? Today I got a brand new YouTube review and today I'll be reviewing the ExtraFi M4 RGB Lightweight Gaming Mouse. Wow, that is a mouthful. So I purchased this about three days ago and it finally came in and I'm just so excited to unbox it. Ultra lightweight construction, ergonomic right-handed shape, pro-grade components. I heard very good things about this mouse like, oh, it's super lightweight. The shape is very good and it's good quality. So I'm going to be the judge of that today. The box already, the presentation is nice matte box. Shows you the side. I got the Miami blue color designed in Sweden. I purchased this off of Amazon for 65 bucks free shipping. So 65 bucks, I'll be the judge of if it's a good mouse. So let's see here. Here's the diameters and inches it's in millimeters just to let you guys know pause the video there pixar 3389 optical sensor yeah okay so let me just open it up this is the best part we're cutting the seal oh so nice and smooth oh all right now slide it out wow nothing in oh well, nice padded foam there Wow, okay. Already, okay, so on camera, the color blue looks a lot more bright. Picture this type of blue, but like mm, five times less light of a color. It's more like uh, blue mixed with dark blue. That's how it looks. But okay, it comes with a blue extra fine keycap and a GG white keycap. Let's take this out. Okay, so they're using their easy cord, what ExtraFi calls it. It's like, oh, this is like shoelace material, paracord. Now, I don't have any, this is my first lightweight mouse, in case you guys are wondering. So I don't have any experience with other lightweight mouse or like cords. So for me, this cord seems very nice and light. But from other YouTubers, I heard it's pretty stiff. Again, I never tried out other mice, so I don't know. ExtraFi, what is this? Uh, oh, it's like a little post package all right oh so you get an extra extra pair of oh these are like nice thick ptfe skates for i guess yep the bottom of your mouse you get what's this an extra five sticker nice and a little manual so the dpi button is on the back right there so there is no program, so you can't like program macros or anything or customize like 500 DPI. These are the DPI levels, 400, 800, 1,200, 1,600, yeah, like so. Polling rate, oh, the glare is horrible. RGB effects, brightness. So this button does not control the DPI, but LEDs. Okay, nice. All right, so let's get on with the review and let's review the scroll wheel. A lot of people say good things about the scroll wheel. And me, the scroll wheel feels solid. It's a little harder to roll. It has more like friction, while the Rival 310 is a lot smoother. The buttons are so crisp. Okay, so there's no, there's like a little bit of pre-travel, but post-travel, look. That's about it. Sound test. All right, so these clicks sound so solid. Oh, wow. So this is a very small mouse. I like how this the mouse's hump is towards like the end. Most mice like the Model D, because it's an ergonomic. I only like ergonomic mice. The Model D's hump is like right here, but I wanted a mouse with like a hump or whatever you call it towards the back. So I can palm grip it very well like this you can also oh wow claw gripping is like it's so solid you can grip this any way you want i was like scared that um these sides would be too big and like my hand would not feel nice on it no my hand feels perfect on this i can still press all of the buttons on the side scroll wheel this mouse is way better than i expected
Okay, so I got the mouse plugged into the computer and everything. So I'm going to show off the RGB, another main factor to this mouse. That's why even on the box, it's M4 RGB. So let me show off the RGB right quick. So there's several RGB modes in the manual. It shows you how to change it. So just the color, you press this and then you keep clicking this button to change just the color. Change the brightness, these side buttons. This one's brighter. Yeah. The RGB effects, just pressing this. So let's see the RGB effects. First is the main one, the first one you get, my favorite one. In real life, it looks so much more vibrant on the camera, like it can't catch the light very well. But it's so nice. Even through the little holes, you can see the Extrafy logo and everything. This is the DPI, so the different colored means different DPI sensors. So as you can see right there. I like to keep it on red or 400 DPI. See this one? This is 400 DPI. That's the DPI I usually play on. So let's check out the other RGB. All right, so we got like this pulsating purple color. Nice. Just blue. Doesn't do anything when you click. Red. Okay, so it pulsates different colors. Cool, very cool, very cool. It's like whitish blue, green, blue. So very cool RGBs. This is like the rainbow, but it's flashing. Very nice. You can even see it through the little holes, the extra fine logo. And this is probably my favorite one. When you click it, it changes color. So look at this. Check this out. Very nice. And then just off. Oh, okay. So back to the normal, just RGB. Another thing I would like to mention about this mouse is the reason why I love this mouse so much is because it's just so solid. Check this out. No creaking. I hear like, I heard one creak. Let me put it up to the camera. No creaking whatsoever. So... The scroll wheel and everything about this mouse is perfect. The scroll wheel is like, it has some friction rubbing against it. So it's not super easy to just like <sighs> scroll. It's not as easy as this one, which has become a meme now. <laughs> I bought this for 40 bucks, $35. Oh, wow. I got a yawn. $35. It's not a meme like this where you can just roll it like to the sky. But this is a nice scroll wheel clicking. Is very solid and clean. Love it. Let me take it out because it's doing weird stuff to my computer. Alright. So, no more RGB. But here's just the mouse and it's all its glory. There's so many good things. I'm just speechless about this mouse. Like, there's no... Tr there's The buttons don't even move at all. Like, I'm actually trying to move them. Like, if I'm trying... I'm trying to, like be rough with this mouse but nothing's nothing's working like it's so solid the side buttons side buttons are solid clicks are solid everything's solid i love shush computer i love this mouse so much i'm going to later on show you the comparison before between the rival 310 my old mouse and this mouse, and just show you how much of an upgrade this is. I highly recommend this. If you didn't already know, I highly recommend it. What makes this thing so lovable is the shape. Like, it's such a unique shape that Extrify it, it's patent pending because it's so unique. Like, it has this big... It's normally like that on all ergonomic mouse. Like, this thing to put your pinky finger and, uh, I guess, ring finger on. Like that. But this, I've never seen this on any other mouse. Like, it has an aggressive curve in, but it has such a big hump right here. So you can put your thumb there. Usually what lays is right there. So when you're laying your finger down, it's so, it, it fits like a glove. You can just aim perfectly. Like, if you guys play Apex Legends, there's a gun called the Wigman, but it, it's pretty hard to use. With this mouse, I could aim perfectly with the wingman. I have complete control over all my... I, I can track so much better with this mouse. 
and everything about it is just perfect. The only complaint I have is the cord, aka the easy cord. I don't really like it. It's like a shoelace material. Like I can feel the actual cord in there, but the outer covering's like a shoelace paracord type feel. Don't know if you can hear it. So it's like shoelace, and it keeps it keeps dragging on my mouse pad. And after a while, it's gonna start like the thread is starting to split apart. It's gonna start split splitting apart. So the cable is the only downside. If you have a mouse bungee, like this, which I will feature later on in the video. Quiet mouse bungee. So if you have a mouse bungee, you're perfectly fine. No worries. But if you don't have a mouse bungee, I'm I would say this is probably like depending on your play style, this is a deciding factor. The mouse cord. If you like mouse cords that are super loose, this mouse cord is good good for me. Like if you're really picky with mouse cords, then I don't know what to say for you. But just watch the video and decide yourself. But for me, I love this mouse. I love everything about it. I can't find one bad factor. I would compare this between the Model O- and the Model O since it's smaller. And I'm just, I am just I just keep talking so much good stuff about this mouse because it's so good. All right, end of the video here. If you made it this far, you clearly enjoyed the video. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash like. But like I said, only if you enjoyed the video. If you dislike the video or something about it, please comment down below what I could do to make my videos better or more watchable or less cringy or whatnot. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm on the road to... 540 subscribers wow such a big milestone never think i will hit it but you guys are just smashing like like i say anyways hope you guys enjoyed and peace out